Okay, so just like Jokai, Satori Rengoku has gotten buffed. Now, this actually makes the bloodline usable because this used to be one of the worst bloodlines in the entire game after it got nerfed initially. And that was because the second move, which used to be a pretty good auto dodge, became useless after the auto dodge update where they let you use it in moves. And since this auto dodge was considered a counter and not an actual auto dodge, it just put your auto dodge on cooldown and you couldn't actually get out of any moves. But that hasn't been fixed, but instead they buffed every other move in the entire bloodline, so now it's viable again. So let me just show you the moves for example. I just showed you the, uh, the second move, now I'll just show you the first move. You can see that's half a hand sign and then a giant beam. Now this is a pretty good move because you can set it up before you actually intend to use it. That should not have done 20k, that should have done way more than that. I'll use it again in a little bit. But yeah, we also have this third move which is really good. Uh, because this used to be useless and it would just knock back the opponents, it's now converted into an air combo starter. So as you can see it goes up into an air combo. It does about 100k damage, which is super super good obviously. So, let me show you this first move again, hopefully all of the hits can land this time. Half a hand sign, boom. I think the sooner you use the move, the more damage it does. What? 32k? That's not right, I think there's something wrong with this log. Let me go fire boss. I'll show you on a boss, that'll make more sense. Uh, let's go over to... Let's go to Ryan. Ryan's a pretty good boss to test these things on. Yeah, as you can see, that third move is also useful for traveling. Even though it's landlocked, you can just jump to start up with it. But yeah, let's fight Ryan. I'll try not to get involved with him, I'll just do a ranged attack. See if I can hit him from here. Alright, something's gone wrong here, because that was doing about 75k earlier. So I don't know what's happened to it. It seems random now, like it's not supposed to be. Let me go fight an actual person, I see people over there. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what the issue is with this move. Alright, Getsugi user. I can need tester on that guy for sure. He's probably a bot since he's just M1ing a, a boss. Alright, I have a good setup idea, so I'll probably activate the move, then I'll hit him with the third move. Oh shoot. So, activate. Attack. Knock back. Okay, 110k. What the heck is going on? Yeah, he's angry at me. <laughs> Dodge. Alright, I actually have no clue what's wrong with this move now. Maybe it changes with mode, because 30k is an absolutely ridiculous amount to do. And I mean that in the bad way. Because earlier when I was testing in a private server, it did more damage. So, that's very, very strange indeed. Let's go back over to, like, a different log, maybe. But yeah, third move is still a very viable move. Uh, the first move I thought was viable until I tested it. Alright, let's use it on this log right here. Try and get the maximum damage possible. Alright, there you go. See, it did 72k then. I think the move is just very inconsistent. Because sometimes it does 30k, sometimes it does 72k. Maybe if you stunlock the opponent first, it'll do more damage. But yeah, that's worth taking note of. Alright, next up we have the auto dodge. Now I've already showed this at the start, but I don't think you guys were paying attention. So it creates four clones of yourself, puts your auto dodge on cooldown, does some damage. It's really not that good of a move, unless you are using it against a taijutsu user. If you're using it against a taijutsu user, this could be the perfect move, because when you substitute yourself out for the clones, they can actually be hit by uh, taijutsu, causing them to stun themselves, basically. So it's still not worth putting your auto dodge on cooldown, but the cooldown on this move isn't actually that long, it's like 23 seconds. So by the time the clones actually get their attack off, there's about 18 seconds left until you can move, use the move again. So it's not that bad. Alright, let's just test all of the moves again, but in mode this time. So, obviously first move first, let's see if it does a high amount of damage. Alright, see? It did less than me unmoded this time. That's super inconsistent. Now let's check the 
moded auto dodge thing. That's a significantly more damage. That is 70k. That is, it's not supposed to do that much. Yeah, they need to fix this. I know they just buffed this, but come on, man. Let's try it on this log again, because this log worked well for us last time. There you go. 80k, 90k, 90k damage. I think if you spam it, it does more damage. I think. I think if you spam the button, it does more. Anyway, let's try this auto dodge again. See if it actually did 90k, however much it was. Alright, yeah, see, these moves on this bloodline is super inconsistent. That's worth taking note of. Alright. Now, let's just test all of the mode specs. So, first up, we got the E spec. 50k damage. Not that bad, considering it's instant activation. Uh, I want to try the Z spec, but I think I might get stuck on top of this tree. Nah, we're fine. Alright. The issue I have with the Z spec is that you can't actually see when you're using it. Oh my lord, my ping is high. Yeah, so when, when you press Z, you can't actually see anything. If you're in a fight and they're moving around a lot, you're basically finished. Because the hitbox is really big, but your vision is limited a lot. Another thing to take note of is the Q spec. I mean, the Q spec's pretty good. It does 75k, if I'm correct. Let's just try this. Alright, 60k. Alright. So, there's an issue with the Q spec too, and that's if you're flying and you use the Q-spec, it doesn't work. It makes the effect on where you were looking, but it doesn't actually activate the move, which is a pretty big issue, but I suppose you can overlook it. All right, let's try and do the Z-spec again, because I obviously didn't hit every single one of them last time. There we go. See, that's more like it. That's 80k damage. Now, all of these moves do about like 100k damage each. Um... Yeah, literally all of the moves do 80k dam uh, 100k, apart from the e-spec, which isn't bad because it's instant activation stun. So yeah, this this line all in all is pretty good. It has some inconsistencies that need to be fixed. All right, let me try spamming it this time, see if it works. Yeah, I think I think that's the secret. I think you have to spam it after you activate it because this log was consistently giving us like 30k damage, and now it just gave me 62k after I spammed it. But yeah, this move, uh, sorry, this mode can also fly. That hasn't been changed. I just wanted to point that out because you know it's useful in PvP. So let's just do the Q spec. You see what I mean? So you see that that doesn't actually do any damage. If it did do damage, it would be on the other end of broken. Like right now, it's just broken, does nothing. If it did do damage, it would be like super OP because it's just a ranged block breaker that does 60k damage. So yeah, I think that's all I need to go over. Satori Rengoku is obviously the exact same, it's just skin. It's not like Arahaki Jokai where it's at, like actually a stronger version. I think I believe Satori Gold is just a skin of Satori Rengoku. So yeah, with that said, um, ending the video here. Uh, like and subscribe if the video helped you in any way. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. That did 100k, that was nice.